Okay, it looks like it's starting to go now. So let's head off. But I think Russ lost a lot of his men in that fighting. 3,000 men, are you kidding me? What? Okay, we need the Warriors of Perun. You need to go get them back. Hopefully this time they actually bother to help. That's Pannonia. You need to get them and help them to help us in this war. Make them attached to you. They're just... Now they're running away from me. Are you kidding me? You were there for ages and now you're running away. God damn. AI really upsets me sometimes. The AI just... Uh, just makes you angry. We need your men. If he has 3,000 men, I'm going to need your men. I promise you that. Okay, Pannonia is actually getting some men together. Who are you also fighting? Bavarian Holy War. God damn it. <sighs> okay, just go get them back. They're stupid. They are very stupid. By the time we get back, it's going to be winter. <laughs> By the time we get back, it's already winter. Finally. Oh my god. I said, just, just go. By the time we get this, it's going to be winter. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is the most dumb war I've ever seen. This is the most dumb war I've been in. Or my most dumb moments in the war. We gained our men back, though. 2,500 we could call upon. Ah, we have 11 vassals now. Our vassals look like they're starting to build up. Yep. Yeah. Very good. By the turn of the century, hopefully we'll have a proper working system. Ah. Legalism. Perfect. So, yeah. Ah, we cannot change another crown. Or, but next time we might be able to change the high crown authority. So that's great. Yeah, we can do it. Perfect. Our legalism is getting very good. Uh, we should probably wait uh, until the winter passes. Let's do that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost me more money. But we're going to have to just do it. Sometimes you've got to give in. And this time, please don't run away, Warriors of Purun. If you do, I'm going to be very upset. Okay. Looks like it's starting to go away. Let's start moving now. I think they're going to start moving. The bastard son. Ah. Educate. Wow. She's a pretty good fighter. Let's get her to educate him then. Let's head you off then. That should be enough men to take them down. This should just this should be enough. And we're gaining more men as we go, it seems. Let's go. Take care of these scum. This hive of scum and villainy. Died of poor health. Oh my son in law. God are you kidding me? Did you have another baby? Another baby. God. Okay, at least this time he was actually a child, you know, a proper one. But uh, you're useless, aren't you? Let's, uh. I don't know what to do with you. I, I have no idea. You're just. Uh, you've arrived at my court. Great. Thank God we have you here, daughter. She's just turned into a pain, hasn't she? She's just turned into a pain. Give me some good matrilineal. No? Hmm. Heir to the High Chiefdom of Yatvinga. Okay, how about you, daughter? Let's give you a chance then. Let's marry you to someone. Uh, Pomerania, Bohemia. They'd give us alliances and stuff. But none of them really that good. High Chief of Pomerania. 
actually from Morovia. Ah, he's a genius as well. I'm sure they've had other wives though. Yeah, he's got other kids, but no, no, just one son. Ah. Huh. Okay. Your son needs a marriage. Just continue our alliance then. No. Okay. Uh, my uh, my youngest daughter. Yes, there we go. So we're going to continue the alliance between us. Bohemia is basically useless. Uh, Rufania is just getting his ass kicked all the time. But you, you might be good for an alliance against oh, the king of Rufania. Oh, there's a king and a, a duke. Okay. Uh, let's have a look here. Your son has one. Your son has one. And then your last son. He's four years old. He's too young. And all your daughters are married except for this one. How about we marry her to my other son? There we go. Just to gain the alliance. Oh, there we go. 5,000 men right there. Look how long it's taken us to get the bloody Novgorod. It took us ages just to get here. Okay, we can assault. Perfect. But we had about 10 times. It was fine. We shouldn't lose too many. And we just need to take this because I'm 43%. Then we can head back and attack them. There we go. We take a Novgorod back. Perfect. Let's give us a high percentage. Let's go destroy the army. Before the winters come. We go 30%. And they're running away. Go, my men. Destroy them all. No one's leading this army, though. That could be upsetting. Okay, here we go. I'll never fight. This time in our lands. Looks like we got them where we want them. Perfect. What happens if I was to win? Like, what do I actually get? Anything even useful? Enforce demands. Uh, lose moral authority, lose prestige. He pays me 180 gold. That would be quite nice. And prestige. Yeah, so basically we just get money. That's that's all I really get. It might be worth it, actually. Well, I'm 45%. I'll see how it looks when we start the face attrition. Toro pets. We start to face attrition, I'll see. These aren't even my men. A famous ride proposes to comp uh, compose your family chronicles. Give him patronage, of course. And we captured one of the High Lords. Perfect. It's a very good capture for us. Okay. So things are going well for us at the moment. Uh, so I'm just worried about the winter when it comes. When the winter comes. Um, they're going to go off to Tver. doesn't like we're destroying them much, so I'm going to attack these guys. They don't seem to be losing many men. Looks like we might be hitting the winter now. If we do, and I, ha I still can't win, I'm just going to go with a white piece. A white piece is fine. Ah, yeah, that's like they're facing attrition now. Though I'm not, but yeah. Yeah, so they won't come if there's attrition, basically. Ah, oh, looks like his father died. This guy's possessed, honest, gregarious, zealous, and ambitious. Died a natural death, okay. Uh, let's offer him a piece. Might as well. I don't think we really gain anything from this war. I just won that bat. Are you kidding me? No. Take it back. I, I take it back. I thought we'd lose that battle. No. Oh, well. It doesn't matter. Eh. It's not a big deal. Perfect. Okay. So, Russ, we managed to keep them at bay. They probably can't attack us. Whoa. Norway has been released. Another Afmunzo. So, the Afmunzo family basically created the modern-day Scandinavia. Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Um, what about Denmark, though? 
still owned by the, uh, I can't say their name, family. And there we go. So things are quite peaceful now. Uh, we've lost a lot of money fighting there. Frankia has a revolt. Looks like the emperor died. His son took over. Okay. He's brave, gluttonous, patient, content, and slothful. And he has a little bit of a, a stutter. What's this war about? Lower crown authority. Ooh, Lombardy. Over Savoy. Ooh. Lombardy and Frankia fighting over Savoy. Interesting. Good. That's good for us. The Christians are fighting each other. The Abbasids have taken over a lot, a lot of land here. They seem to have lost control of Eastern uh, Middle East. It's all Persia, I guess they still have most of it. But kind of over here, you know, Afghanistan is kind of... Nah, I guess they have most of Afghanistan, but this area. And they still have a bit in India. Hmm. India looks like a mess. Pizarro looks the same. Everyone else looks the same. Even we do, technically. Things are going well there. My son looks like he's going to be heir. You've been very disappointed, my son. I'm very sorry, but it has to be said. I'm going to give it to your brother who's more worthy, maybe. And these two daughters have been useless. <laughs> Absolutely useless. If we can make an alliance. I wonder. Ooh, Crimea. What's a, what religion? Orthodox. Okay. Fanatic. Ah, oh, militant group. So, fanatical heretic group. Okay. No. Okay, they wouldn't marry into us. Ah, the old wound is finally healed. We have a nice little scar. Okay, let's try and get you married then to just anyone. Yeah, go on, give it to him. Let's get you married to anyone. You're getting old now. You're not likely to have any more kids. Uh, but for you, we may need to be more careful. Who might give us a good alliance? The Avar, who's also Slavic. Ah. He's Germanic. That could be an interesting one. Could cause problems, though. Damn it. Would we get an alliance with that kid? Karl of Skane. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. Ah, let's not bother, then. We're not in any position to really get good alliances right now due to the religious stuff. In fact, a lot of the land for me is useless that I can get. All the east is just useless tribal land. I don't need this. We have 12 vassals now. Our army is slowly growing. After 100 years under the kingdom of Belarus, the high chief of Livonia is no longer considered to be a de jure part of the kingdom of Finland. Excellent. Excellent indeed. It's now part of Belarus. As it should be. The question is, though, what should I call the empire? If I do do an empire, what would I call it? Ah. Perfect. That is quite an interesting question, yeah. I have no idea what I would call the empire. Who is this? Ah, the weak, ill young girl. Why him? He's good at stewardship. Yeah, go on. Okay, we're starting to get some more money now. Oh, we got two calls to arms. Against Elec of Elec's host. And this one. Uh, against Fyod uh, Fedoro of Crimea. This one looks far more important. So I'm going to accept this one. Um, Elec of Elec's host. Who is Elec? Alec. I have no idea who that is. It's a Kerr. Huh. He doesn't even have a claim. How did he get here? He's a very small army, so I'll accept. I think you'll probably win. This 
Let's have a look. Yeah, they should be fine, both of them. Shouldn't worry too much. Uh, but yeah, things are going pretty crazy down here. The area's around Pannonia. There's a lot of people who have land. We want him to make peace. We could possibly get him to join me. A few people have broken away. You have like Torquay here. There's Crimea, Bax, Moldo. The Byzantine Empire is just falling, falling apart. The Abbasids still have this little piece of land here in Greece. Greece is just a shambles. Just a complete shambles. Uh, what should we do up? Let's do improved trade. Yes, trade practice. Let's do that. Okay, done. Yeah, the Byzantine is just fall. They still have land over here, though. And the Umeans have literally done nothing. Nothing has changed over there at all, it seems. Huh. Feels like a lot of the rest of the... Whoa, the Abbasid capital. No, nope, that's not the Abbasid capital. Probably just moved it then. What are they fighting? Subjugation of Egypt. Ooh. If they can take Egypt, they'd be pretty unstoppable. Teutonic Order is trying to hold what they have in Germany. It looks like... Uh, sorry, in Greece. Fighting the Byzantine. Ah. Let him rot. Let's check, out, let's check us out. Got some prisoners here. 70 gold. And 145 gold. Perfect. That's a lot of money for us. 210 gold. Perfect. Lovely. Lovely piece of business there. See, we didn't need a normal piece. A white piece was fine. Uh, let's have a look here then. So let's go from the east. Let's sorry the west and go east. Let's make sure everyone oh, this guy needs help. One more and he's done. See that war's over. So if we help this guy. Let's do it. Gives us more soldiers. So he's done. You're done. You need Okay. So everyone on this sort of side of the river's done. Sack still needs to do. They're doing it. Perfect. Okay, and you. You need one more. You don't. Plock. This guy's done. And the guys up here all need to do. Okay, they're, they're kind of like an area. Let's let them do that. I'll probably help this guy. Yeah, our original land. Let's do this one. And that's it for now. So I have two more done. Okay, most people favor my son, which is great. Perfect. Things are going well. Then hopefully my son can change the uh, authority and then change the succession law. But he must have reigned for 10 years, actually. What's going on down here, then? So we're now fighting the host. Oh, he has enough men, look. He should be fine. He doesn't even need our help. Nice having Crimea here, though. Byzantine Empire seems to have some trouble. I mean, Despot Sebastos of Torica. He's a eunuch. And there we go, the war's over. Ah. Very nice, very nice indeed. Pitland has eaten up Northumbria. So it looks like we have a war between Pitland and the Welsh. Who can take the most of England, it looks like? In a Welsh war for Prince Gwenfren's claim on Leon. Are you kidding? You are attacking Frankia. Jesus. That is crazy. Uh, but yeah, Pitland is getting very strong. Castant the Just. Ah, it could reform Britannia. Well, not reform, it was never formed, but I mean, formed Britannia. 